Over here a little bit. Hey, yeah, he's so afraid of spiders. Guys, This is from Santa Dan. This isn't from us. And a Playmobil. And it's a car. And it's a car. Wow. Hey, go police car. Awesome. Very cool. No, oh. it's a. Open your stamp, I guess? Yeah. Oh, an iPod? What is that? Hi, Mom. Yeah. Jack, what is your New Year's resolution? To stop repeating people. What is yours? To stop video. I don't have one yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Becca, what is your New Year's resolution? Um, I, I don't, I'm still trying to think of one. Think of one now. <laughs> to get better grades. That's your New Year's resolution? Yes. That's it. Okay. <laughs> what is your New Year's resolution? Uh, to find inner peace. That's boring. Get out your designer coat. Bob, what is your New Year's resolution? I actually haven't picked one yet. I know, you're the only one I can think of that had a designer coat. I'm to get in the car with Bill and Terry. What is your New Year's resolution? What's my New Year's resolution? Obviously, it's not dreaming. Um, I didn't make one. I don't think I made one. My New Year's resolution is being happy with who I am. Okay. <laughs> Paul, what is your New Year's resolution? Uh, I don't know. Everyone keeps saying they don't know or they don't have one. Make one up. What's yours? What? I'm not on the camera. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> make one up. I can't. Okay. What's your New Year's resolution? To make it through till next New Year's. Okay. Can we just buy a lime and lime and boil it and eat it? No, I don't think it's a real resolution. Joe, what is your New Year's resolution? I don't know. Who's the star? What is your New Year's resolution? Uh, are you in the uh, video? Good yeah, he's one of the yeah. boys. It's Joe, <laughs> and Dan, and Jimmy. Hey, you never did the credits, man. Yeah. yeah, I did. Sarah, did you hear about the YouTube video? Oh, you're no, mean, man. You're mean. No, I'm not. They, they aren't really good Joe, if I had one, I would have been like, did you see the whole team? Here, guys, wait. I want to see. Ready? Becca, will you come with me and video some people? Say hi. Hi, I've already said hi. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. Yeah. Yeah. They had a sign up. Our onions have no chance in that. I was like, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bye. 
<laughs> you're making yeah. so awkward because you're on the camera. How are you today? Stop putting it on me. It's not even on you, you spaz. Danny. Okay, or not. <laughs> Jack, what is your? Oh, I already asked you, didn't I? Yes, you did. Did I ask I, you what's your New Year's resolution? We're gonna do nothing. You, you're not gonna do anything exciting this year. Well, it's, I, I don't have a resolution. He's gonna try and be nicer, nicer to his brothers. What? Are you gonna be nicer to your brothers? No. Maybe just Johnny. Maybe he's the nicest one out of all. Danny, what's your New Year's resolution? No, he's not. He's oh, yeah. violent Dan and disgusting. What's yes. Your, wait, what, what does he do? Okay. Yeah, there's this one magnet on our refrigerator where it shows like a naked person because our it was really old and it was from my great grandma and she gave it to my dad. And Danny just stands there staring at it. <laughs> so Danny, what are you gonna do different this year? Okay. As I get punched in the stomach. That was nice. Did you hear that story? Yes, I was. Yeah. What did you say? That she, like, like, had, that Sarah was videotaped. During the story? What's your New Year's resolution? Ryan? No, what's your New Year's resolution? What is that? What are you going to do that's different more fun this year. this year? Or different. Are you going to do anything, anything exciting this year? I don't know. Are you going to... Are you going to... Do a talent? Oh, are you going to do a talent tonight? What's, What's your challenge? Chair? Um, it's like, um... You gonna dance? You gonna sing? Dance. Hey, Rebecca, move. Ryan, will you walk the runway for me? What? Will you walk the... Rebecca, move. Ooh. Ryan, walk the runway. Pretend you're walking it. Okay, start back there and walk towards it and strike a pose. Yeah. Now strike a pose. And now you're on the runway. Walk. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we are not here with Jack Flaherty reporting for duty. Jack, how's it going? Fine. Are you excited for tonight? Yeah. Are you going to perform a talent? Are you going to perform a talent? No. What beanie baby are you hoping for? A dog. What are you going to name it? I don't know. Are you a beanie baby? What are you going to name if, it if you get an elephant? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Jack, answer the, answer the question or I'll turn it off. Uh, I'm going to name it <laughs> Snookums. Okay. Thank you. And we are out. You already asked. Hey, don't ever text me. Hey, Danny, what's your? The share of the uh, of the Sunday night uh, meetings we have together, and so uh, we want to let's get a little applause for him. <laughs> There's some that, uh, I talked to Aunt Jeannie, she was going to surprise us, but then uh, most of you know that she did break her wrist, and uh, the therapist didn't want her to, to take a trip like that, so uh, uh, she, she wanted me to uh, uh, give her her love to all of you that she's not here. And we did hear from, uh, from Jane the Powers and uh, Kathy McAlevey, and Molly Peterson. We're, well, Mr. Peterson's in their act. They, they're playing somebody that <laughs> likes us tonight. <laughs> but they're, they're sorry they can't uh, come. I, I, do, I, I do have a welcome story. You know, uh, uh, when my mother and father were alive, they lived in uh, uh, St. Ambrose Parish uh, in the Narragansett uh, building there. And uh, my mother restarted the uh, Alton Rosary Society. And uh, one winter was uh, really a bitter day, and uh, I, would, I would go there on Sunday evening for dinner. 
and she had had the meeting with the altar rosary in the morning. And I said, well, how did it go? She says, it was, it was marvelous, she said. <laughs> Frankly, everybody showed up. I was so proud of those women, I gave them all a plenary indulgence. <laughs> now, I said, uh, Mother, only the Pope can spontaneously give out plenary indulgences. And it stopped her. She said, well, if the Pope had been there, he would have given a plenary indulgence. <laughs> but I used that, uh, that story. I said, well, if the Pope were here this morning, I used the reason was real cool, uh, I don't know whether he would give you a further indulgence, but my mother would. <laughs> so I'm uh, certain she should be uh, uh, proud to uh, the Vienna family uh, gathering like we're having this evening. We're going to have a, a few things. For, uh, we didn't have one last year because, uh, uh, if you remember, Lucien uh, died on the 29th. And uh, I guess uh, this is the, a year ago she was buried this day, right? And they, they, we did have. Uh, uh, over in Old Orchard, we had a, a like a, a lunch afterwards. It's sort of a sad day, uh, but so I, I asked Anne if she'd just say a few words uh, about Lucienne. Can you come up and say just a few about her mother? Because uh, uh, for some of us, she was a, a terrific presence in our lives, and uh, I thought we would uh, have just a few words from her. And this is this is Numero Ono. She's the first of their generation. <laughs> yeah, but now there are a lot more. Um, well, Uncle Bill asked me to say a few words, and so I talked to my brothers and sisters about my parents. And, you know, another thing that uh, they all had thoughts. And uh, so my parents were married 56 years, so it wasn't just my mother that I thought Uncle Bill wanted us to, me to mention, but both my parents. But they both died on December 29th, um, a year apart. Uh, and uh, they were married for 56 years. Today, as it turns out, is Scott and my... 28th wedding anniversary, so they wow. Thank you, thank you. I did it all myself. <laughs> I just want to thank Scott for 28 wonderful years and counting. At least twice, twice as many left to go. But um, marriage is, you know, as everybody here that's been married knows, if there's ups and there's downs, and that was particularly true for my parents. And yet they, um, you know, they stuck with it with a deep and abiding love for each other and as my sister Sarah said their courage in facing you know all the difficulties that they had to especially in the later years was uh, really something and uh, they forged ahead now things weren't perfect because my father was a Republican but, <laughs> you know they really in their last years they found I think their, their deepest happiness which is kind of an inspiration certainly to me so anyway I would like to just have uh, little toast to my parents. We, I, we all knew them, we all loved them, we miss them every single day. So thank you, Ann. I just want to mention, uh, uh, on New Year's Day, uh, Danny uh, uh, read the, he, he writes an annual uh, letter about the people who come on Sunday nights, and he insults most of us. <laughs> but he did say some nice words also about uh, Phil. Jeannie's husband, who died this past year. And uh, Phil, uh, uh, like Tom Lucien, really had, uh, in the latter years of his life, he had really a uh, uh, hard existence. He was, he was like uh, uh, Job, you know, and, but, he, but he accepted it, and, and uh, uh, I think he was certainly an example to his sons and to uh, the, the Jeannie, and, the, and I, I would visit him once in a while, but he, uh, had, had a tough time, and so, but we rejoice that he's uh, in eternal life now, and we, we have our uh, faith in, in the resurrection. So today is the epiphany. I thought it would be nice if we uh, uh, had, uh, we, have, we, we have one uh, special church reader, uh, and that's uh, Max, Dr. Max. And so I asked if he, if he would read, read the Magi's story. It's a beautiful story, and he's going to read that. Then we're going to have Father Dan offer the grace, and then you're off. I was impressed, though. <laughs> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. 
assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is the shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Very good. Such, such special treatment <laughs> is unusual. Uh, I really haven't prepared a homily on the gospel, but I was asked to. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's pause for just a moment as we begin a new year and give thanks uh, for all the graces we received in the old year. A year of uh, hardship for many, uh, a year once again uh, without that peace on earth of which the angels sang, and it isn't looking too promising in Gaza right now. But we do give thanks to the Lord for all the graces we have individually received and as a family. So we ask him to bless our time together this evening as we talk, we share memories and conversation. We ask him to bless our families as we move into a new year. We ask him to bless the food we are about to receive through his body, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Enjoy your dinner. Check. Test, he's out. This is a sing along. All right. Yeah. We all for much of it. If they can't read, don't give them one. Is this on? Can you read? Jack, Jack, bring him over there. I can read. Maybe that works. Does that work? That doesn't work either. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. So what do we start with? Uh, we'll start with the piece. Okay. We decided uh, that John and I can never agree on anything. Can you hear me? I don't think no. it's working. No, no. You got to see me. I'm talking to you. What? Hello, 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 hello. No. Hello, hello, hello. You're holding this one. Hello. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Since John and I can never find anything we together that we know, we decided this year to do a little Burr Lives, and uh, we'd like to uh, we'd like to uh, have you at least sing along on the choruses, which are generally pretty easy. Like the first song is Goober Peas, and the chorus goes Peas, 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 eating Goober Peas. Anybody can do that, right? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Well, this is a little Pearl Irish concert, and the first song is Goober Peas. Sitting by the roadside on a summer's day, chatting with my messmates to pass the time away. 
but another pleasure in planting her than these is wearing out your grinders, eating cooler peas. Peas, 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 eating cooler peas. Goodness, how delicious, eating cooler peas. When a horseman passes, the soldiers have a rule. Cry out at their loudest, mister, here's your mule. But another custom enchanting her than these is wearing out your grinders. morning the general hears a row he says the yanks are coming i hear their rifles now he turns around behind them what do you think he sees the georgia militia i think my song has ended what lasted just about enough the subject's interesting, but the rhymes are getting rough. I wish this war was over, then rid of rags and fleas. We'd kiss our wives and sweethearts, and I'll go over me. Hey! Please, 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 Goodness, how delicious. We're going to end with uh, the, the blue tail fly, but well, well, everybody knows the chorus to that. So in the meantime, we'll do one of our lives' favorite songs, the Big Rock Candy Mountain. On a summer's day in the month of May, a burly bum come a hiking down the shady lane through the sugar cane. He was looking for his life.
the pony being light to shine. If bitten by the blue tail fly, Jimmy Crackhorn, I don't care. Jimmy Crackhorn, I don't care. Jimmy Crackhorn, I don't care. The master's gone away. One day he ride around the farm. The flies so numerous they did swarm. One chance to bite him on the fire. Devil take the blue tail fire. Jimmy Crackhorn, and I don't care. Jimmy Crackhorn, and I don't care. Jimmy Crackhorn, and I don't care. My master's on the way. The pony run, he jump, he pitch. He threw my master in the ditch. He died and the jury wondered why. CD on the way out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so who, who's next? <laughs> yeah. Which has your what? <laughs> you guys gonna do anything? Are you? Here they come. Okay. Do they uh, need the microphone? Yes. Who's going to hold it for them? Patrick, I'm just getting a cup of coffee. Oh, I thought he was the Max, do you hold the microphone? Patrick can. Patrick? Okay. Ah. Wait, we need Hold on, we need All right. I think Saul's in the bathroom. All right, hold on. And then! Saul, look. Yeah, he's... Oh, there's Ryan. Silent night. Oh, he is. I see him. Right here. There we go. John is not. We're so. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, all of you out here in the front, so they can see you. Don't trip with the cords. Okay, turn around. Just hold the mic out there. Or I'll hold the mic. Alright. This is Sarah, right? Whoa, I'll hold it. You guys sing it. Stand on there. Stand on there. Stand on there. 